Hi folks, uh, today's video I'm going to touch on Set's new Nimrod gear bag. The Nimrod was designed based off the old Eagle Industries Sigma gear bag. If you remember the old Sigma was, uh, was one of those items that a lot of us use. It's just getting harder to find it and if you do find any of the Sigma bags, it just requires a lot of updating to bring it up to speed. So with the Nimrod, let's touch on the outside first. The bag is produced with a 1000 Daniel mil spec Cordura. Uh, in this case you have the Coyote Brown, it's got YKK zippers, y, uh, YKK Velcros. Uh, we, just as you know said, we don't cut corners when it comes to the production and the materials on any of our products. All right. Now, outer dimensions, it's 30 inches long, uh, it's about 15 inches high, and from pocket to pocket, depth is about 16 inches. The back has one main compartment in the middle, it's got an outer weapons platform, and I'll show you what, uh, what it looks like inside afterwards, and two additional pockets on the outside. Now, let's talk about what this bag is capable of holding. Let's look into the inside of the Nimrod. Now, let's start off with the two external pockets. I don't have this thing loaded up too much, but I did put product, uh, one of the products inside just to give you an idea for size. Each pocket is roughly 12 inches by 13 inches. Let's see what we have in here. It's got one of my field there, so your clip bots right here. And then on this side, I think I left, well, oh, there we go. A 13 inch uh, MacBook Air. And it goes in this way, so you can just imagine what the dimensions and size of this pocket is like. Alright, so let's have a look inside. I've loaded this thing up with uh, some of our gear. Uh, so what I do is I'll unload it, and as I unload it, you can see what the Nimrod's main compartment is capable of holding. I have a full combat belt or war belt here. Put this thing down. It has uh, one of our new uh, shadow carriers and it has two sets of uniforms and last but not least a pair of boots so that's what I have inside there there's still room for it but what I'd like to do is show you the two major differences that the Nimrod now has let me just turn this around to show you but the Nimrod has one wall that has rows of pals webbing and this is the wall that's opposite from the uh, weapon compartment you want to just kind of balance off the weight so you can see I didn't put any pouches here but it's completely Marley compatible the other thing that we did is we didn't leave the base just with a piece of fabric or two pieces of fabric we did add paddings of closed cell foam at the bottom to give it body and more substance, right? If you look at the walls of the Nimrod, you will notice that they have zipper access at the bottom on both sides. If you unzip one of these, you will notice it has closed cell phones on the wall and a plastic insert. This idea came from Sert's TCC rifle case, one of our best selling products to date. Uh, it's robust, it's tough, and you don't have an issue about things being knocked around, right? So that's the inside. Now let's have a look at the outside weapons compartment. Now, some of you may take a quick look at this and realize, aha, it looks like our TCC. In fact, it does. It's a revised or smaller version of one of our TCCs that we added on to, it, uh, to the outside of our Nimrod. Now, let me unzip this. And you can see it has rows of pals webbing with velcro loops at the back just like our TCC to be able to hold a broken down M4. In this case I have a, an upper that's, uh, that, uh, is com that comprises of a 14.7 inch barrel however I know a lot of you folks carry 16 inch barrel uppers and you can see there's enough room on both sides for the additional inch and a half. Walls this side and on the opposite side are all closed cell foam with plastic uh, insert. As you can see that the parameters of the, uh, the uh, closure behind the zipper is also heavily padded so you don't go around knocking any of your optics or what if you not. All right? Now when this bag is fully loaded it does tend to get heavy as you can imagine due to its size and with your firearms inside and what if you not. So every single Nimrod comes with a pair 
of our heavily padded close out foam padded shoulder straps right if it has two d-rings on each side so if it gets heavy just mount this thing on and you can easily carry it and I don't recommend that you do this for long distances but you can with this on and if you want to adjust the uh, webbing you can basically pack pack backpack it but not over distances guys this is for you to take it from a short distance of A to B so there you have it so it's new Nimrod gear bag